Kathy Huff cried as she stood before Judge Jerome Metz this morning and admitted to causing her grandson's death. Back in October, Huff used heroin mixed with fentanyl while she was babysitting four-month-old Killian Ronan. She overdosed in the tub of her Whitewater Township home. Her husband found her unresponsive in the tub, Killian near death floating in the water. In court today, she pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter. As Prosecutor Seth Teeger pointed out in court, normally they would talk to the victim's family about the outcome that they were seeking for the suspect. In this case, that's the same family, and prosecutors had to go in a different direction from what they were hoping for. We talked to the child's mother, who's Miss Huff's um, daughter, and she also felt that prison was not appropriate. Prosecutors would not go along with the Huff family's request for probation and treatment. There has to be a price to pay, and so we overruled um, their request, and we insisted that if she wanted to plead, that it had to be a prison sentence more than the minimum. Huff's attorney says her addiction was a secret even from her family. And so came to a heroin addiction, and unfortunately it's something that's running rampant across the country, and the experience that the Huff family has had has paid the ultimate price. The price Kathy Huff will pay? Six years in prison, a break from the potential maximum of 11 years for involuntary manslaughter. From the Hamilton County Courthouse, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. Kathy Huff also pleaded guilty to